Okay, if you had to be haunted by a celebrity ghost for the rest of your life, but you get to choose which celebrity ghost would haunt you, who would you choose? Wes? Boy, I feel like you're teeing this up one up pretty good for Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> I mean, he's still alive. His career's dead. <laughs> oh, you're talking about uh, <clears throat> so he would have had to have passed? Mm-hmm. Yes. Gotcha. Oh, boy. All right. I, I, I don't want to discredit things like recent memory because, I mean, Burt Reynolds would be a good one recently. Now, there's been a lot of people that have passed away, you know, <clears throat> There's been a lot of people that have passed away in history. Pretty much everyone who's passed away has passed away in history. <laughs> now that I come to realize that. Uh, <laughs> and, and it, you know, and I, believe it or not, I'm not going to go with Freddie Mercury on this one. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if I want to go with a sports person who would just continuously want to talk about sports. A Babe Ruth. I'm sure his stories are great. You know, you know living in the roaring 20s, being the most famous athlete in the world. Uh, eating hot dogs, drinking hot dogs, eating beers, having sex all the time. Uh, you drink some hot dogs. Drink some, you want to drink some hot dogs? Come on, sit down with me, Wes. Drink some hot dogs. Uh, it's got to be celebrity. You know, you're not talking about like... Uh, uh, war- you know what? I can open it up. Anybody you want. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily a celebrity, I guess. But just, sure. you know... It, 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 but for the audience's sake, it might be nice to have somebody that they would recognize. Right. Uh, I'd probably go with my man back here, Hunter S. I think that would be Ooh, interesting. I think, a, I think it'd be interesting. That's you know? a good choice. Right. They teach me how to shoot guns, build a fort, run for fucking mayor of a small town, <laughs> write, guns of journalism, some drugs, some boozing, etc., etc. I like it. That's pretty good. No, that's great because the way I'm thinking of this is, uh, do you guys remember the show Quantum Leap? <laughs> yes. Do I? Maybe Scott Peck. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because who was his? Uh, who was like the guy that was, was Al? Was that the guy that was helping him all the time? Yeah, I don't remember it like that. I I, uh, I don't remember his name, but yes, I know who you. The person that he he had to. It was his sidekick who was. I don't know. Was it a part of his conscience or AI or something like that? I know you're talking about that. Yes. Yeah. Al. Al. Yeah. yeah. And no one else could see him but Scott Bakula. So you know, it, he was just giving him advice all the time. He was like, he he would just chat with him, and that guy could give him like, hey, maybe you should try this. Like, imagine now that you were roaming through your existence with Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, like, I don't think you should you should punch that man in the throat. He disrespected <laughs> you. <laughs> Let's go do some cocaine <laughs> and smoke it. <laughs> Blow the vapors my, my way, <laughs> Alan. Uh, this is a tough one, man. This is a lot yeah, Murr's so coming out with some heavy hitters this uh, this evening. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a ghost, right? I'm being haunted by this person, or yeah, you're well, being haunted, haunted. But I would I would say you're like your your nether world life partner. Yeah, yeah, like uh, soul bonded, if you will. Yes, I got gotcha. you. Uh, hmm. You know, Maradona. My initial, <laughs> my initial thought was like to go some something like something crazy, like something something cool and historical. You know what I mean, like Abraham Lincoln or some shit. But then I was like, meh, that's dumb. Uh, so then I started thinking of comedians because I would like to have just a comedian hang around with me. Uh, and I, for some odd reason, my mind settled on Rodney Dangerfield. Oh. And I feel like Rodney Dangerfield kind of rolling around, monologuing stuff while I'm living life. And, like, I'm just talking to ghost Rodney Danger. I think that'll be <laughs> a fucking riot. Uh, so, yeah, for also my own selfish purposes, I want to fucking just giggle it. Ghost Rodney Dangerfield for the rest of my life. I thought we were going to mind meld there. I oh. feel like. I would feel like you, Mitch Hedberg would have been a better choice for ooh, you. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love him too. That's a that's a good thing. And I'm so, I know I haven't listened to enough Mitch recently, so thank you for that. I appreciate that. You're uh, welcome. We yeah, enjoyed the rabbit hole you're going to go down later. We we had uh, Sarah had never heard of him. We played him. Uh, played her like a 12 minute uh, best of, and it was a fucking absolute riot. She's just like oh I, I, I feel Nothing. more complete. I feel like uh, I feel like a better human having listened to that. 
because I have like I I am a uh, a staunch advocate of club sandwiches. Uh, so when I first heard the club sandwich bit, I fucking lost it. Like <laughs> it is so good. If you haven't heard it, go listen, folks. My my two favorite Mitch Hedberg jokes are the Dracula joke. Uh, I I recently had to go to the dentist, so I went to Doctor Acula. He drained half my blood. He is not a good dentist. <laughs> Doctor Acula. <laughs> Acula. And then uh, his Bigfoot joke. He's like, I'm not so scared of the fact that people can't find Bigfoot. I'm scared because he is a big blurry monster. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I always like the, uh, uh, if, if, if a stoner comes up with a good thought, does a black light go off over his head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but finally, my answer. Yes. Um, I was going to go with uh, uh, Lemmy Kilmeister of Motorhead because all that guy ever did was he sat at the bar of the strip club and he played the Mega Touch th- that they used to have, you know, when they used to have coin operated machines at the bar. And he would drink whiskey and smoke cigarettes and seem to have a rather simple outlook on life. And I feel like somebody like that could help the overthinking mind of myself kind of get through simple situations a little bit easier. Just say, yes, you cunt. Okay, yes. And just I could move on with my day. And to have like a fucking uh, just dirty chain-smoking rock star with me all the time seems rather pleasing. I like it. That's a good cho- That's a good choice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Rock and roll. <laughs> fucking nice. <laughs> all right. 